T-Rex fans, Todd Kerber here. Today's subject, cargo trailer. Here's my setup. My goal when uh, purchasing this trailer was to buy the smallest trailer that would fit the T-Rex. Less money, less weight, easier to maneuver, and back up. A trailer size is eight and a half by 14 to the point, or 12 foot to the corner here. Double axle, it's quality trailers. Uh, they only sell to dealers. I ended up uh, purchasing this from Barry's Trailer uh, here in Sarasota, Florida. I haven't loaded the T-Rex in yet, done all the dimensions. Everything should fit. Uh, there's a couple of hot spots. First, nose hitting the ramp. Secondly, once the tires run over inside the cargo trailer, um, in the center of the body, the door hinge can hit in the center. And then last but not least is the width of the tires between the wheel wells. And I should only have about two or three inches when I pull it in here. I've got some lights for nighttime loading. I've got D-rings on uh, all four corners. And I've set it up for two motorcycle um, wheel chocks. Um, those are set up in the center here. Obviously, I don't have those in when I'm getting ready to load the T-Rex. Got a ramp flap down at the bottom. I went ahead and installed some larger cones. Uh, I believe those are two inch rather than one inch. Um, again, we'll have to see how the nose comes up on it here in a minute. Notice how the uh, front is just slightly elevated on the hitch, only by just a two or three inches. That'll straighten out the ramp, make it a little bit easier to load. This trailer has all LED lights. I did a gray finish to match my truck. Got emergency brakes. If this pulls, it'll lock the brakes up. I did my Ford backup assist and the good uh, and the good plug-in. Got some diamond sheet metal on the front. Super happy with it. I also installed this kind of uh, master lock. Uh, little upgrade, a little harder to uh, break into. Can't just get bolt cutters on the outside. Uh, this inner piece uh, does spin, um, and I put it uh, here, here, and on the hitch. No side door. Here we go. I'm gonna move it on up, and see how the nose does first. By the way, the uh, trailer is uh, six and a half feet high. Um, trailer cost was a little less than eight grand. I chose to delete and get a small credit back for the front side door. I had a cargo trailer before. The door was nothing but a problem. It leaked, rotted out the wood around it. So I chose uh, not to do the door. One less uh, way for somebody to get in, one less lock, hinges won't rust, and so on. Problem area number one, looks like I'm gonna be fine. Tires are almost up to the ramp, and the nose misses the ramp by an inch or two. So I'll pull her up in, see how we do in the center of the machine when I run the front tires over the door hinge, see if it bottoms out in the middle. Your uh, T-Rex is approximately 11 and a half feet long. And the width of your T-Rex is approximately six and a half feet wide, or 78 inches. Width between the wheel wells, I've got 83 inches. 
and remember six foot six inches or 78 so we've got one two three four five that's two and a half inches of clearance at the wheel and the fenders that's it inching my way up in good on that side a little close on this side need to move over to uh, the left just a little bit front wheels are in my next spot I was worried about is right at the door joint rear tire is gonna bring it up now so I looks like I'm gonna be good in the center of the machine as well is definitely tight on the fender should be a little more to the left in the future I'll have to mark uh, the plywood down here because when you're sitting in the seat it's hard to see over here so I'll mark uh, I'll mark some blue tape or something or other on the uh, plywood first time loading it's in not all the way I'll push it up a little bit more definitely too close to the right side wheel well I need to make some marks like I said onto the plywood so I can see that from the cockpit um, driver's seat I can't tell so I'm a little crooked uh, inside tires a little bit uh, off to the right too but uh, so far so good my old girl's in got about a foot back here plenty on the sides there and got about a foot up to the uh, point strap her down and then I'm gonna definitely mark out uh, some marks back there so I can freaking see you know right where the tire needs to be pulling in and backing out I added a mark up front so when I'm sitting in the driver's seat I can look down and see that black mark and I know I'm in far enough I just finished marking out the uh, line I need on the left so I can see from the driver's seat when I put my front tire up it'll be just inside that line and I'll be able to see from the driver's seat and go all the way up to the cross and then I'll know I'm in far enough as well ended up adding another straight line right here up the ramp my tire will be on the outside of this line so I can clearly see it when I'm driving up that way I can make sure I'm straight I don't hit the freaking wheel well and again all the way in I can watch it make sure I'm lined up and then I stop at that mark last up let's get her strapped down all right I've got d-rings I did uh, crank straps went ahead and used that uh, adapter going around the uh, swing arm right at the axle and I did it on this side too just snugged it for now once I get the fronts done I'll tighten everything up fronts are done I decided to uh, go around through the rim this side uh, is unpolished so I'm not too concerned with that metal right there and this side is done as well that strap is on the tire that crank so I'm good with that all snug down ready to go to Daytona tomorrow I probably next time I do the rear I'll get rid of these use a little bit longer strap and just go up and around and do the two uh, two hooks on the d-ring here rather than this setup but since I'm done I'll leave it this time just got back from uh, Daytona I loaded and unloaded now uh, twice um, this edge of plywood is catching just slightly you can see that mark there and this mark here and these couple marks there so I think I'll uh, sand this uh, corner edge down and the other thing I did um, when I came home I kind of parked in a low spot to uh, make the gate flatter and uh, we'll see when I unload it uh, if it uh, catches again just unloaded the t-rex and because this trailer is in a low spot and the gate is flatter it did not hit this edge this time 
I'll still sand that down in case I don't have a, a low spot to load and unload. Hope that helps. If you like this video, subscribe, thumbs up, and share. Thanks for watching.